Hey everybody, I'm Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll t talk about why I am bullet journaling in my Hobonichi instead of a blank notebook like a Leuchtturm 1917, which is what I came from. I started bullet journaling in February and um, I had a newborn and she slept a lot and it was great. I had a lot of time to make whatever spreads I wanted. I love the custom customizability, is that a word? Customizability <laughs> of it, but it was very time consuming and the older she got, the more mobile she got, I realized that I just didn't have the time to sit down every week and to completely start from scratch on all of my spreads. So I started looking, I love the hourly layout, so I started looking for planners that had hourly layouts that I loved. And I had previously planned an Erin Condren planner and it's a great planner, it's just too big for me to carry around. And if it's too big for me to carry around, I'm not gonna use it. So I just slowly, it made me sad, but I just slowly stopped using it. So I looked for planners that had an hourly layout and I found this Hobonichi. And I use the Hobonichi Cousin. This is an A5 size and this is housed in my Chic Sparrow um, Odyssey leather traveler's notebook and we can talk more about that later. But this is the Evec Cousin. So this just means that it's from July to December. All right, so some of the things that I love about the Hobonichi, it's very, easy for me to bullet journal in my Hobonichi. So it starts out, it has the year at the glance pages. So this I use for birthdays and anniversaries. I just circle or put a heart around those special days. And it does have a year at a glance from 2017 last year and then 2019 the future year. The next part is kind of like a future planning spread that I did in my bullet journal. A lot of people do. And um, you can use these for so many things. I went ahead and I put our school schedule in. So since this is the AVEC, it's July to December, it gives you, whoops, it gives you July here and then December of 2018 and it also gives you January to June of 2019, which I love because the academic year, it was perfect for our school schedule and I teach part-time at a nearby school. I teach music. So I have loved that and then Another thing that I love about this planner is that it gives me both my monthlies, my weeklies, daily pages as well. And we'll talk about uh, one of the reasons why they're able to do that. But let's flip back to this month. Now this is just an empty month for you. This is January of 2019. So they do give you an extra month on either side whenever you order. So some of the things about this there are little tiny grids. It makes it really easy to line up your stickers and make sure they're right in the middle. If you're like me, it drives me nuts if they're crooked or not centered, right? So um, those grids really helps and makes it a lot easier to do that. Also, it's pretty much a blank canvas. Now you could go in and white out some of the red and the blue if you don't like that. Another thing I love about this is it is a Monday start. So I know that a lot of people in the planner community love to have their weekends grouped. Now, if this is something that's a deal breaker for you, you love your Sunday start and you don't ever want to even consider having a Monday monthly, but you like your Monday weekly, um, what you can do is use stickers to cover them up. So I use sticker headers for my week anyway. And so if I wanted to, I could just put my Sunday over here and do it the way I want it. And then I could just use date dots to cover up the days and nobody would be the wiser. So it's really flexible. I love how customizable the Hobonichi is. Um, it's just really a bare bones. So here's the month again. And then here's a week for you. So you have over here a little mini calendar. And this is just from the ending of June to the beginning of July. I didn't use this week. There's a sidebar over here. And then you have your Days. Now it is a Monday start, like I said, Monday through Sunday. And this, what I love about it is it has all 24 hours. Now some people don't work the normal nine to five job and so they need their hours to be, um, you know, into the later areas and things. But if you don't need all 24 hours, it's really easy. They're super small. You can come in and just white them out. And I have done that. Um, I was trying different things and I was, um, I think once I made my like 10 o'clock and then I made 11 o'clock all the way down here and I just stretched them out so that I had more room because I am usually sleeping this part of the day. Um, I've done other things too. Let me flip. 
So I used an Erin Condren sticker sheet here, and I just used some washi just to kind of divide, and so this is where I have my to-dos here. I also did that flipping back. I've used stencils as well. So I've just tried a whole bunch of different things, and it's been really fun to test out different things and find out what works best for me. But that's the beauty of this, is that it's basically a blank canvas. It's very similar to bullet journaling. It just does give you that bare bones structure that you don't have to go in and draw yourself. I love the daily pages in this Hobonichi. So here are some blank daily pages just to so show you. So at the top, there are five squares where you could write your top five or even your top three for the day. And then it does give you an hourly over here. So it gives you six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, zero, and three. Now, normally what I do is I white it out because my bulk of what I need is here and I like it to be stretched out. So if I am using this as a time bar, like it actually suggests to do my day for the, my schedule for the day, I usually white it out just to make it a little bit more useful for me. And then, um, really it's, it's a blank canvas. You can make it whatever you want it. So you can put to-dos over here if you want. You can journal at the bottom. You could journal over the whole day. You could use this as a memory keeper. There are so many ways that you can use this. So I will flip back so that you can see some of the ways that I have been using it. So I actually have used some of the days that were already printed before I bought the planner. So my unused days, I've used this collection. So this is very bullet journal. I feel, I feel right at home here. So just a couple of my collections that I moved over, some handwritten fonts and things. I just love to play around and I love the flexibility of being able to do pretty much whatever I want in this planner. So some of the other beautiful things about this Hobonichi is the paper. Now, I am a fountain pen user, and so this Tomoe River paper, it's like at the top. It's a lot of people's favorite paper, right up there with Claire Fontaine. Um, and one of the reasons that they are able to do a monthly, a weekly, and a daily in this book is because of how thin the paper is. So it's so super thin but it will not bleed. So it's very fountain pen friendly. I have my favorite Pilot Vanishing Point over here. It's watercolor friendly. I mean, you can do all kinds of things in this notebook and it's not going to bleed for you. It's also very smooth. So writing on it, it's like butter. It's very, very fun to write on. So I'm gonna flip back so that you can see some of the dailies that I've done. So here I have my schedule for the day. These were days I didn't have a ton going on. And then I have my to-dos over here. And then at the bottom, I was doing a declutter challenge where you declutter the number of things for that day. So this was the 13th. So I had to declutter 13 items. 14th, I had to declutter 14 items. Spoiler alert, I did not make it all the way through the 30 days. I kind of fell off the boat a little bit, but I am intending on going back. It's just a lot of things to get rid of once you get to 23, 24, 25, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this. I have really been having a fun time playing around with my Hobonichi planner and I hope that um, you've enjoyed watching this. I do have a question of the day and it's actually a three-part question. So question number one, do you plan in a Hobonichi? If so, which one or ones? If you plan in several, I would be curious to know. I only currently have my A5 size. And if you don't plan in a Hobonichi, I would like to know what features of the Hobonichi that you um, find interesting as I was going through that you would maybe like to know more about. I would love to see you down in the comments and I'll be there to answer any questions you have. Thanks so much. Until next time.